All right, here we have polygon symbol MATIC uh, versus the dollar. And we did play out our same range from yesterday, essentially 220 to the upside versus 180 to the downside. As long as it's also between those two regions on a daily closing basis, I'm not looking at any major breakdowns or break or, or breakouts, but it is long-term uh, implied bullish. Now, short-term on a four hour, we do have a local high right here. And if this thing does close basically anywhere below about $2 and basically anywhere about, uh, below about 203 or 202, especially, I would be looking at one more drive towards your current low side structure just uh, around 190 to one basically somewhere around about 190 or so again bullish as long as above 180 below 180 it does start to lose its daily structure and i do look for moves down towards 150 to 160 ish region but until then going sideways here is fine with still the same breakout resolution point to the upside above 220 which would imply moves back onto your prior optimize and very likely beyond on top of that if we go if we go over here i imagine that this one's still more or less corrective on the higher term time frames um yeah daily is downsetting as long as below 216 okay five day which just close last night is uh, upside and as long as above 190 so that is kind of a kind of actually a big area and weekly will turn back up above 195 so uh, i'd say I'd, I'd be looking for the next big signal over the weekend on Sunday's closure, anywhere above 195, I do look for this one very likely to, you know, not just retest 220, but very likely take it out and initiate runs towards its prior time highs. And well, after that, probably looking at $3 plus, you know, in the following weeks or so. But for right now, if we go back down to the very short term timeframes, yes, very likely to play out some short term downside moves. Um, you know, all lower term timeframes kind of downside angle right there. So coming back down to again, $2, uh, sorry, to below 202 on a four hour closure, I would look for this one to, uh, uh, correct a little bit further south first and play out more and more sideways you know again so something like this is probably what you're looking at and then go sideways and sideways and sideways and then back above 220 that's the big area right there until then sideways at best but overall pretty damn good setup for the long term it's just you know one massive ascending triangle looks like so fair enough and hopefully that was helpful for matic sir